Hi guys, so welcome back to another episode of SFL. Um, how are we all doing? I hope we're all doing good. So today's video is just going to be a little care guide to how I care for these fish. It's only going to be about two fish in my tank um, today. Uh, it's just going to be a small little tip, fun fact guide. Uh, what I do to care for these fish um, and it's just going to be some facts. So if you're new to this channel guys, hit that subscribe button for me, give me a thumbs up and uh, go and have a look back at other videos that I've made. There's loads of fun stuff in there, some silly things and some interesting things I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, so yeah, that's today's video. Uh, enjoy. So like I said guys, today's video is going to be about two particular fish in my tank. Um, these guys are cool to watch. Uh, I love watching them. You need a little bit of uh, ornaments for them to get in and out of and then around. Uh, just something to play about in. Um, they get to a nice size. These guys can grow absolutely massive. So you need a big tank. You're going to need something at least four foot for these guys. Uh, you can't have a tiny little tank to put them in because they're not going to last in there and you're going to need something bigger in the long run so you may as well go out, get yourself a bigger tank and get yourself some of these. So in case you guys haven't guessed it, which I'm sure you already have, uh, I'm indeed talking about my two tyre track eels. Now I've got one large one and one small one. You'll see in the video in a minute there's a difference between them. It's quite a sizeable difference. Um, they don't get on too well, these two. Uh, they tolerate each other. They don't like each other getting into each other's territory. Um, to be mindful of that, they're gonna need their own space. That's why they're going to need places to hide. So give them plenty of hiding spaces. And some give them some stones and some bog wood to poke their heads through. They love doing that and it's fun to watch them do it. So just be wary of that, guys. Make sure you give them plenty of spaces to hide. Oh, and as well, like I said, they will grow into monsters, so. Yeah, so like I said guys, um, these guys are bottom dwellers. They're gonna stay at the bottom of your tank and they are scavengers. So anything that you drop or the fish don't eat or any sort of un un uneaten food that has dropped to your bottom of the tank, unless you've got a gutty eel, like I've got a gutty eel, um, he will go around and snatch everything up as quick as possible because he's eating well and he's healthy and he's quite happy. Um, but they, they're not too fussy once they are eating. Given, like I said, they need lots of hiding spaces. These guys are very, very susceptible to catching all sorts of diseases. Um, and they're not particularly the easiest to, to cure uh, if they do catch anything. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to um, add one of these fish into your tank uh, they get too stressed out because there's nowhere for them to feel safe. They get some sort of disease and then possibly wipe out your tank. That's not what you want. So, simple thing, give them lots of room to hide. Uh, they can dig through your substrate. They've been known to dig through uh, substrate. Mine's quite fine. Um, and it's quite a, a light dusting of, of sand at the bottom of my tank. I don't have loads, so they're not really going to dig through that. But if you had a lot, then they, they'd possibly dig through the, your sand. Um, <coughs> so, in, in the wild, these guys uh, are known to eat. They'll forage for insects. They'll get the insect larvae. Uh, they can eat earthworms, uh, blackworms, and a lot of submergible plants um, they're not going to eat my plants obviously because they're plastic which is quite nice uh, it doesn't look the best to be fair but it's plastic and they're not going to get eaten which is good for me um, <clears throat> but in your aquarium I've got prawns they're eating them prawns at the minute the reasons for the prawns in the bottle is uh, is for the little eel um, my large one is quite gutty nearly everything like I said, pretty quick. Um, so I've got a bottle with a smaller um, end. So the large tire track eel can't fit in, but the smaller one will. The only problem with this is the small eel can't figure this out. Um, the large one has, has put his head in 
and he's realised he could get in there. Um, but the small one, small tyre track, he'll still not quite figure that out, obviously. But once the lights are off, he'll, he'll give it more of a sniff around and he'll probably find his way in there and out, um, which is what I want. I want the small one to eat a bit more food um, to, to size him up a bit more. So like I said, in your tank, you can give him prawns, um, any live food like um, uh, shrimp, they'll eat shrimp. You can even give them frozen food like uh, bloodworms, they'll eat. they'll eat bloodworms, cyclops, krill, uh, brine shrimp, uh, tuberflex worms that they'll eat as well. To be fair, these guys will eat anything once they start eating, um, there's not much stopping them. So, that is it. Just a short, sweet video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Anything. Um, give me. Let me know what you'd like to call it. I'm thinking about doing more of these little fat guides. Fact guides, not fat guys. Um, on all of the fish that I have in the tank. Um, I don't know what we can call it. Fun fact. Fun fact. Thursday I don't know let me know what you guys think if you want to see more of them let me know and uh, I'll do some more uh, Thursday I'll be doing another video um, obviously Sunday maybe doing a live or not I'm not sure if you want me to do a live guys leave me a comment let me know uh, I, I like doing the lives but it's just a bit hard when there's not many people talking to you um, so yeah, let me know. I'm trying to build this channel. Uh, we're doing so well. I just want to keep pushing and pushing and pushing to get to as high as we can. Uh, you guys are amazing. And I will see you Thursday or Sunday. See you later.